Hey, this is Scott Drafty Bonsai. In this video, I'm going to talk about 35 millimeter lenses or the equivalent of around 22 or 23 millimeters for crop cameras. Now, I did have the X100F from Fujifilm for quite a while, and that has that fixed 35 millimeter equivalent F2 lens. Very nice camera. I had to trade it in to be able to afford these M50s for my hybrid work. But that forced me to really get into this focal length. I've always found the 35mm equivalent challenging to use. I don't know what it is exactly, but when I'm out taking photos, it's hard to find angles that I feel comfortable with or feel confident about while I'm taking the photos. Now, when I look at the photos afterwards, often it's good results in general, but challenging to get it in the field to find angles that work well with that focal length for me. Now I do think it comes down to forcing yourself to get out there with that focal length, trying to get used to it, trying to find situations that work really well. I have found quite a few that work for me, especially with conventions. I go out with a 35 millimeter equivalent lens, a lot of people around going in buildings. It's pretty crowded. So in those situations, this focal length works really well to take photos of people in costumes. I can get kind of a mid body shot with some blur in the background with those larger apertures, usually F2. That works very nicely and I'm happy with that setup, that situation. I went out recently to one of my local parks, very unusual park. It's used as basically a large pool for water when it rains a lot. Seems like it actually had a lot of water in it recently. It looked pretty barren. Really interesting place to take photos. At the park, I was trying to find closer angles for any type of object. There were some plants that worked really well. Get close up, get a little bit of blur in the background. Try to get some more epic shots. With this, it's not super wide, so it is challenging. Getting the sun in the photos works nicely to help out with that interest in the photo. Shooting in smaller apertures when the sun is in the photo helps out a lot to get those sunbeams. I really like the results in those situations. I'd be curious to know if you have similar difficulties with this focal length. Like I said, for me, it's mostly just while I'm taking the photos. I do tend to have nice results, but maybe that situation forces me to really look at my composition with this focal length. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. That helps me out a lot. Likes and shares about a lot as well. Thanks again.